Hello the internet, I'm Gav. In this video we'll be revisiting the classic mints in the old diet soda experiment that we all know and love. But with a twist, this video is sponsored by Mio. It's a liquid water enhancer. They've sponsored us in the past, we're very happy to have them back. We'll be using the Mio to color the liquid in our experiments. And here's the twist I was mentioning before. The Phantom is mounted to a robotic motion control arm, so we should be able to get some epic looking shots. Okay, you have to pardon the rubbish bags on it. We don't want to get it wet. Unlike other motion control arms, this one is capable of moving incredibly quickly. You might want to duck. <laughs> that is terrifying. Why don't we start off with a nice simple static shot. For this experiment, it's a good idea to use diet soda because the aspartame in that gives it a much bigger reaction. I'll start by adding some watermelon. So along with the bold flavor of Mio, We'll also get some nice color. This should give our foam a lovely shade of red. Okay, you've joined me at my lovely pool. Before we use the robot to do crazy moves, I wanna test our little rig here. It's basically a nail that's holding in a stack of mints. And when I pull them out, we should get a nice reaction. Three, two, one. Okay, for our next montage, I want to film a single mint falling in. But in order to do that, I need a way to precisely drop the mint every time the exact same way. So I need to be completely uninvolved, no human element. These two solenoids here will clamp the mint above the bottle like this in its resting position. And this wire is connected to the triggering system of the robot. And I've got it currently set to at the beginning on frame one of the robot move, these two solenoids will release the mint straight down into the bottle, hopefully. And what that'll do is just remove me from the equation. I don't have to worry about my timing and triggering the robot at the same time. It should happen perfectly in sync every time. And that will allow us to get very adventurous with our shots. Let's give it a go. Okay, I've programmed a very short move to track one of the mints down into the bottle. Just gonna test this on an empty bottle first, see how close I am on the timing. Three, two, one, drop. <laughs> Oh, straight in. I do have to be slightly careful with this dropping mechanism. So I've set it to open on frame zero and then 20 frames later, it closes again because if you hold solenoids open too long, they can, they get really hot and potentially damage themselves. So it's going to be in real time open for less than a second. In slow-mo, it'll probably be open for about 30 seconds. Okay, powering on the robot. Setting robot to fast, going to Position one. Lovely stuff. Three, two, one, drop.
So this is a very experimental video. I thought it'd be really cool to get a POV of a mint going straight down the bottle hole. And I think to do that, I want to combine the robot with the probe lens. However, in order to look vertically down, I'm going to need to change the configuration of the camera because as you can see, if I try and tilt all the way down, the camera will actually impinge on the underside of that arm there. So I'm going to take the camera off and use this plate, which will allow me to flip the way the camera is mounted to a side mount. And then if I turn the camera like this, it will be able to look vertically straight down. So it's quite a shift in setup, but it should allow us to get a pretty interesting shot. All right, so I think I'm going to program this move in reverse. So I'm going to find my position two. Ooh, coming in hot. It's like the moon landing. Ooh. And see right down the hole. This is going to be an insane shot if I can get it. Get in there. Oh, straight in. Love it. In order to get stupidly ambitious with this up and down movement, I've now got the dropper device mounted on bars to the end of the probe lens. So we're now looking at a mint about a couple of millimeters away. And as the robot descends at full speed, it's going to let go of the mint and I'm going to pull focus on it all the way down to the bottle. Okay, let's go to position one. I've also programmed a move in reverse to follow the flume upwards. Three, two, one. Whoop, that's a wetland. Oh, it comes into the light. It's like a space vehicle jettisoning an old booster. This is such a graceful shot. It's just so perfect. Oh, it looks like it was, it was like the same distance away the entire time. Whoa! It's like a tiny little, it's like I've got a small drone and I'm just flying above this plume of liquid. Oh, that looks so weird. The fact that it's not actually getting any closer to the camera it just looks like a weird CG effect. Whoa, look at that. I love that shot. What insane, what insane angle on that. Absolutely washing the lens. Looks like something out of Portal. This is the kind of stuff you could just film it over and over again. It'd be completely different every time. Three, two, one, your. <laughs> Well, there we have it, some very mesmerizing looking footage. I've never seen that done from those angles. And I think the colored foam was a nice touch. I'm very excited to use this again. There'll be a second channel video coming soon about that. And finally, big thanks to Mio for sponsoring that video. Mio may be small, but it packs a mighty punch. A cheeky squeeze of Mio adds a lot of flavor to your water or soda, soda water, whatever you want to squeeze it in.
And one of my favorite things about it, you get all the flavor, but with zero sugar and zero calories. If you want to give Mio a try, there's a link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.